The LDL cholesterol is the one that oxidizes. It essentially rusts and then sticks to the artery walls. So what happens is I eat sugar. Sugar is broken, converted into glucose. If it's not glucose already, the liver absorbs it. Once the cells have enough glucose and you keep eating sugars, breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas, the body says, wait a minute, I can't have sugar floating around in the blood. What am I going to do with it? I've got to take that sugar and convert it into glycogen. Glycogen is where we store our excess sugar. It's in the blood vessels. It's in the uh, liver. And so if I run out of sugar, I have my glycogen stores and I start burning glycogen. Once all my glycogen stores are filled up, my body says, uh-oh, I'm still eating sugar. What am I going to do with this sugar? So the body sends it back to the liver and it converts it into triglycerides, which then gets stored as fat. So the triglycerides are the end game. You've got too much of this stuff and the body doesn't know what else to do with it. It's going to store it as fat. So I look at triglycerides to say, yeah, how can I get them down? I don't want to take a, a drug to bring them down. I want to find out why they're high to begin with. And mostly it's due to poor diet. So if the triglycerides are high, change your diet. That's going to take all those uh, free radicals out of the diet as well, and that's going to lower the oxidation of the, lower, of the LDLs, and that's going to clean up your arteries in most cases.